Hi, how are you all? Welcome back to our channel. I just learned about the water resources in our country. So, I like to share what I learned with you. I am going to explain this only on the basis of my social book. Firstly, the sources of water. That is, from where we are getting water is called a source. We know that 75% of our earth is covered by water and water presence in ocean, seas, lakes, rivers, ponds and underground. These are all natural sources of water. Though 75% of earth is covered by water, still we face water shortage, right? The reason is only 2% of earth's water is good for drinking and irrigation purpose. We cannot use saline water of oceans and seas for drinking domestic and agricultural purpose due to its high salt content. We all know that water is renewable resources, which is renewed by rain. So, the rainwater, Malai Neer, is the main source of water. We must save and store the rainwater. We can recharge the underground water level with rainwater. Secondly, in this session, we are going to see some water resources. Number 1. River water or flowing water, which is good for drinking and irrigation. Number 2. We can also get water from wells that dug by human in the place with sufficient underground water. Number 3 is tube wells, also man-made. It runs on electricity and used in farming. Number 4. The hand pumps. It is man-made and used to draw underground water manually. Number 5 is irrigation canals which takes river water to the region with shortage of water. Example, Indra Gandhi Canal from Satluj River. It supplies water to desert region of Rajasthan. Number 6. Dams are big man-made structure built across rivers to save river water to prevent floods, to irrigate lands, to generate electricity, also revenue to our government. So dams are called multi-purpose project. These are all the major dams in India. Also must known river dams too. This chart is given in order dams name, rivers name and followed by the location. We know the advantages of dams, right? Every coins do have two sides. Likewise, in recent days, environmentalists discouraged the construction of dams because constructing big dams cause environmental problems, displaces people, destroys many animal and plants life, also large reservoir leads to earthquakes. Number 7. Tanks and ponds are also a resource of water and is man-made. The last but not least is it is wise method too. This is rainwater harvesting method. The ground system absorbs the water collected from rooftops using pipe and helps in recharging our underground water level. The tap water what we use in our house easily available but it is not meant for wasting and we must use it wisely. Now, let us see some general questions regarding dams of India. There are many types of dam constructions. With that note, this is my first question. What is the largest earthen dam in India and South Asia, which is also second largest earthen dam in the world? The answer is Bhavani Sagar Dam. My next question is, name the highest dam in India. The answer is the Hari Dam. Question 3 is, name the longest dam in India and the answer is Hirakud Dam. Question 4 is, name the oldest dam in India. It is none other than the Karigalan Skalanai. Question 5 is, name the largest concrete gravity dam in India. The answer is Bakranangal Dam. My last question is, what is the largest masonry dam in India? It is Nagarjuna Sagar Dam. Finally, here we come to the book back exercise. These are the one words. 
and these are answer the following the first question is why can sea water not be used for drinking and irrigation the answer is sea water is highly saline so we cannot drink sea water or use it for irrigation crop will lose its fertility and die what problems occur in india because of rains occurring only in the monsoon months we face water shortage often why dams are called multi purpose projects the answer is dams provides water for irrigation it controls flood provides water for domestic usage uh, industrial use and agriculture use help in navigation generate electricity uh, which is called hydroelectricity so dams are called multi purpose projects question number 4 is what is hydroelectricity Hydro means water. Producing electricity from falling water is called hydroelectricity. The fifth question is on disadvantages of dams. We already discussed and the sixth question is on irrigation canal. What do I mean by rainwater harvesting? Rainwater harvesting is a good method of saving rainwater. Rainwater falls on the roof, collected and redirected to a deep pit dug in the ground. Thus it increases the groundwater level. The Tehari Dam is the highest in India, but it was built on earthquake prone area. What problem could arise? for the town and people because of this problems will be mounting pressure on reservoir leads to powerful earthquake it could crack the dam resulting in disaster unknown in human history entire gangetic valley will suffer My recent research related to dams of India is on Narmada Bachao Andolan Simply NBA. Its aim is to oppose the construction of huge dam on Narmada River. Because constructing dams on this river affects unique tribal people. Even though the dams construction like Narmada Sagar and Sardar Sarvo dam has advantages, it causes severe environmental issues, loss of agricultural land, flora and fauna. So I do agree with NBA so that we can save people, animals, plants and agricultural land. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe our channel.